Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of my Warrior Build Permadeath Run in Elim. So I think in today's episode we're going to try and complete some of these quests that we've got outstanding. We'll probably try and level up our character a bit and try and do a couple of, uh, couple of dungeon runs and try and get some better equipment. So let's have a quick look at uh, Lloyd Soul's quest. I want to get this out of the way so let's quickly craft a hoe and a shovel. So I want to go to Tinker's Bench. I've got enough for a hoe. I haven't got enough for a shovel at the moment. I do need to go grab some more stone. So let's craft a hoe. And I will need to grab some more stone. So run search for stone. Let's head out. There's a bit of stone here. I might have enough on this. What is it? Philite stone. Let's grab some of that. Uh, how many do I need for a shovel? I think I need two. Is it for a shovel? Yeah, two stone for a shovel. So I'll quick look around here, see if there's any stone. No, I can't see any. Right, so let's go grab some resources, get some stone while we're doing that. We can fight some enemies and start to level up. Yeek there, my bear took care of that. My bear hasn't got any equipment at the minute as well, so that's probably another thing that I'll need to do. So if I just click on him, if we go to trade, we can actually see what items he's actually carrying. Uh, he hasn't got any traits at the minute. So if I do get any more weapons, I could give it to him. Make him a bit more, a bit stronger. Oh, we've got some stone here, let's grab that. And I didn't want to do that. Oh well, let's go. Well, we have got a formidable floating eye here, so let's hit them. Uh, I have turned the damage numbers on as well. I did get a comment on my last video about the damage numbers, and it does really help. Uh, I mean, this boomerang's pretty beefy, to be fair. What are we are 2d4 plus 3. Let this stone, copper rock, I can't collect that in a minute. Right, I'll take this look out. And see, these are good for leveling up as well, these crabs. A lot they do take quite a bit of damage. They've done quite a bit of damage to him. He definitely needs some equipment. Ooh, got some more stone here. Let's grab that. Kill this sheep. animals on this tile. Right, okay, my bear's been paralysed. Right, let's hit him with my boomerang. Should be able to kill him here, yeah, that's fine. Let's replenish everything on that, that's fine. Right, okay, I think we're good on this tile. So I've got some stones, so I can go and complete that quest now. I might as well go and do that now. Yeah, let's auto dump all of that into there. And what we got? So we have got a shovel. Let's quickly craft a shovel. Put that away and let's go speak to Loitel. There we go, nice. So that quest has been completed. What else we got? We've got Hunt Hostile Creatures. Uh, I'm nearly there on that one. These ones are the main quests. I need to wait for my tax bill to arrive. And I do need to go get that lost puppy in that dungeon as well, but I think I need to uh, level up a little bit more first. Let's see if there's any quests going on. Um, Loitel wants a towel, which I haven't got at the minute. Let's quickly cut this meat off as well. Okay, so we got them, and then I think, right, let's put these away because I don't need these at the moment. We'll get rid of them. And just to get a bit more, I might keep these actually just to eat them. 
Okay, let's put some of these resources away. So we'll get rid of the stone, we'll get rid of the skin. Uh, what else? I'll keep these. Two bottles of ale, we'll keep that. Squall of Evac, Squall of Return, we'll keep that. And, it, and the Copo, we'll put that away as well. Okay, nice. We're looking good. We've got 1,866, which, should, which will cover our first tax bill. Okay, he's just giving me them seeds of mushrooms. He wants me to plant them, doesn't he? But it ain't going to be any use planting them in a cave. The mushrooms might grow, actually. I'm not sure about the other crops. So we've got a fang over here as well and some more meat. Might as well go and cook that off over here. Right, let's head out and let's see what we can find. Um, which direction shall we go? Let's just hit these tiles for now. Uh, we've got a bat there. Hit him with the boomerang. I'm doing damage, yeah, one shot at him, nice. Still haven't levelled up yet as well. I'm still on level zero, so hopefully I'm gonna level up soon. Get out of it, pute it. Pute it. Okay, this is pretty beefy to be fair. Uh, this basalt long spear. We've got three uh, D4 on that, so what's that? 12 damage plus four. Plus two, sorry, it's 14 damage. That's not too bad. Not too bad to start off with. I just need some armor. I mean, I've got money. I've got gold, so I might be able to go and buy some. If I head down to the Tinkers. All right, let's use a Shrine of Enchantment there. We've got a book, which we need to decipher. I think, let's head down to the Tinkers. Let's see what armor we can actually buy. And I think we're going to stay on the path just down here, just because the uh, the level of enemies do get higher the further south that I go. Right, you should help me. Yeah, there we go. He's helping me. Nice. Thank you very much, sir. They will pay for their crimes. Have a little wander around here, see what we've got. Goblin. Get out of it. Deep. Let's kill you. Oh, we've got here a shrine for armor. So I could use that. Uh, what should we use it on? I could use it on the Palulu bucket. Um, a pair of grass shoes or my jelly shirt. I, don't, I want to get rid of that jelly shirt because it's not very good to be fair. Um, or I could use it on my decorative ring. Yeah, I'm probably going to get rid of all of these anyway because they're no good. So let's just use it on that decorative ring for now. Let's enchant that one. Oh, beefy attack. Paralyzed him as well. There's nothing left on this tile. So let's carry on, make our way down to the Tinkers. Um, I am hungry, but I will it auto eat. Got some food in my backpack. Let's close my purse. Don't need that open. But yeah, it's just ate a bit of meat. That one is rotting though. Well, well, I thought we made it right. Tamid, Tamnerd the Elder, formidable wrath. I reckon she's going to be quite beefy. So let's get out of there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. They nearly died then. What is this? Danger level five. Yeah, so probably a bit too much for me at the minute. As I said, every year we'll sleep anyway when we get here. Um, we pay him to find out what that book is. Let's do that. 
haven't really got any uh, magic spells or anything at the minute. So it's an identify soul item which costs 48 gold. Let's do that. What is it? It is an ancient book titled Dull Chance. Right, right, I might as well read that now. Well, let's go to sleep first. Just so my bear can get his HP back. Okay, he's recovered a little bit. But the enchant, so they've had a little animation now in the latest update to when you in meditate. Now let's read this if I can. Too difficult, okay. It's confused me. Nice. I'm hungry as well. I'm gonna have to eat this, which reduces my perception by minus one, but needs must. Didn't even get rid of my hunger to be fair. Well, that confusion's gone. Let's have a quick look at the quest board. What they got then? Uh, he wants to treat himself to a menu board. Nope. Uh, regular patrol of the outskirts. Uh, I'll quote it this time is around 22. So I've got eight days to kill 22. Well, let's do that. That's doable in the eight days. That'll give us a bit more gold. We want instant ram on. And uh, he want, she wants me to kill uh, the disgusting race of cats. I beg you kill nine of them for me. There isn't a deadline on that. I will accept that just for the fact that it's a deadline. I don't think, really think I've seen any cats lying about so far, but never know. Well, the caravan master's asleep. These are asleep as well. I don't think they are. Um, so I could train. I haven't got any coins to actually train something. No, I don't really need to up these at the minute because I'm not very high on the skill level. Let's talk to the blacksmith. Show me your wares. What have you got? You've got a doomed grass war sickle. Which is pretty weak. A cotton shirt. A pair of stone light gloves. How much are they? 44. So I could put them on. Just for the fact that it helps more protection by plus two. And we've also got a paper scimitar. Which is not great. Eight damage. But with a hit plus nine. Hemp wizard sword. Uh, so that could be pretty decent. We've got PV plus five on that and DV plus two. Obviously going to be better than my Palulu bucket. Got a scale robe. Uh, DV plus eight, PV plus two. Um, and a small shield which um, helps my DV. Negates your effect of sleep. It lets you digest. See so that's Good, I like that. I've used that in a different way. It lets you digest rotten things, so I won't get all the negative side effects from eating all the rotten food, which is pretty good, which means you don't even have to cook the food, to be fair. You can just eat it raw. Uh, it makes it easy to evade and negates the effect of sleep. I could do that, but I don't really want to put my dodge value up. I want to go for my uh, section value. Gloves. I think I'll buy them. Right, let's buy them gloves. And uh, let's quit them. I'll quit looking at my character sheet now. So my dodge value is still only on one, but my protection is quite high. It's on 18 at the minute. So looking pretty beefy. And uh, this book. Let's get rid of this book. I don't even speak to the scholar. I wonder what they'll give me for this book. How much? 14. Oh, we'll get rid of it. I can't read it anyway, it's too difficult for me. So that weren't that weren't, weren't the best. We managed to get some gloves out of it. Um, we've got the puppy's cave here. I could go and down to the puppy's cave, try and do this quest. I feel like there's gonna be quite a few items down there. And then I can always use a scroll of evac if I need to get out of there. And that's gonna help my leveling up as well. We'll eat a rotten bat. Just confused me. Hello, Ria. Let's enter this. What have we got? So, we've got ketchup. Hey, exploring a cave ready. You're coming here like a real adventurer. Before we go deeper, are you sure that's enough armor? No, I'm not sure. I know it's not sure, but it is what it is. And what have we got here? We've got an altar of healing, so I could meditate to that one, which I don't really want to do. Well, let's have a look. What does that up? That modifies, gives us bonuses to will, endurance, regen, 
meditation, anatomy, cooking, magic, divorce, magic, capacity, and prayer of Jor. I don't really want to go for that. And I don't want to change it afterwards because then I will get smited. But we've got a yeah, strange tome, we've got a bone crystal there, murky potion. Let's grab all of these. I'll look at one of these little bastards. I want to rob my things. There, we've got a scroll there. Let's pick that up. Hopefully, we can find some decent armor in here. That'll be good. Okay, I've hit a trap. Nothing there anyway. Well, I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna do ketchup nutrition on that's five. So let's just eat some ketchup. There we go. That's got rid of my hunger. Get this stalagmite out of the way. And I can't get that out of the way, right? We're gonna have to go this way. Get rid of the uh, soil. And same with this one, we'll cut for real. Okay, well we've got a hermit cra easy hermit crab, that's fine, we'll hit him. It's only doing one damage at the minute. Better off hitting him with my spear. Oh, we've got a rod there, let's pick that up. Get rid of this wreck, so we're fine. It should be a yeah, lapis uh, lazuli gem. Nice, we'll take that. We've got a bag of sugar, rip scroll and some soybeans. Beautiful, and a bin of yeast. Uh, for the 14 wooden makeshift arrows, I will pick them up, probably sell them. Well, let's quickly meditate to heal them up. where I started so I'm probably gonna have to dig through oh no let's go this way let's try this way gonna be a dead end no it's not it's fine that leads back around to there that's fine so we've got a door here let's open this what we got a formidable floating eye so I should be able to do some decent damage boomerang yeah here with 10 and 12 16 nice snails get rid of you Another scroll there. Uh, we could get some resources from this. So let's get rid of this wreck. Uh, we found a piece of hemp. Nice. But oh, where's he run off to? Okay, he's sorting them out. He should be able to defeat that Q-tip. Oh, we found the stairs as well. Down here. Let's grab all everything we can first. We can identify all these scrolls. If they're no good, we'll just sell them. Get some gold in. Well, let's head downstairs. What we got? Uh, oh, we got another weapon there. Grass longsword. It's probably not going to be great. It's made of grass, but we'll grab it. At least I can dual wield them for now until I actually get a. Oh, he's just done 24 damage. Formidable mercenary. Okay, right, we're going to have to go up here. No, he's killed him. Still my. Oh, still my bear cub. Right, five damage on that one. 8 damage. Oh, 19 damage. Right, let's jump back up here. I need to heal up ASAP. Let's quickly meditate. Hopefully when I go down, his health hasn't gone down. I could equip this sword. Grass long sword. What's that? 2d4. It's going to be better than um, having the one weapon. So let's equip that. We'll go for a dual wield for now. If I jump in here, how much damage is going to get with that? So let's hit him with that. 10 damage. Is that it? Well, I'm going to use a bandage here. And I'm going to draw up here just to heal up quickly. There we go. Drop back down. Hit him. 6 damage. Ooh, 20 damage. Right, he's literally... He's got a two-shot where he is. I need to be careful here. Right, let's quickly heal up. Hopefully he doesn't heal up by the time I get down there. We can take him out. There we go, right, fully healed. Hits him for 13. He's missed me. Nice, we got him. Beautiful. 
That would have been a tough fight. That'll even kill my bear as well. Right, this is formidable, this orc as well. Six damage. Three damage, oh, he's only done three damage to me, it's fine. My bandage heals that up for me anyway. Okay, so right, so I've got to be quite careful down here. I've got basalt stack. Can I can mine that because that will come in handy. No, I can't at the minute. Because my hardness on that's only 18 at the minute. Uh, we have got an altar here, altar of healing again. I don't really want to use that altar. Of... Okay, we've got another formidable mercenary here. Let's hit him for 10 damage. Let's head back up here. Oh, right, it's missed. Well, let's jump up there, drop back down. Hit him, he's hit me for nine. Drop back up. Let's quickly meditate. Drop back in. Hit him for... Uh, I've missed him. Hit me for seven. Right, let's quickly use a bandage. Right, we'll keep missing each other. Let's hit him again. Done eight damage. Nice. Hit him again. Missed. 14 damage. Jeez. Quickly heal up. I've got an ice arrow which I could use as well. That's going to deal, what, 12 plus 2, 14 damage. Let's try and use one of them on him. Okay, so that's got the wet status as well. And it dipped out. Uh, what did it deal? 9 damage was that. Come on, quickly heal up. Got 3 more turns. There we go. Drop that down. Hit him for 11 damage. One more hit. If I hit him. Oh, I missed him. Right, okay. Let's definitely go up and heal him. I can't be affording to miss him. And then die him. There we go. A murderer. Yes, you're right. I am a murderer. That's what you get. Biatch. Okay, so. What else have we got? Yeah, clear potion. We'll grab all of that. I'm running out of space at the minute. Could leave and go back to the Tinkers, try and identify this. If it's any good, I'll keep it. If it's no good, I could sell it. Let's sort this out. Pick that up just in case I do need to eat something. Where is it? Grotesque offal. Let's quickly eat a grotesque offal. Uh, we'll eat the other one as well just to get rid of my hunger. Didn't, didn't fill me up. Uh, we've got no fair known there. This should be pretty easy to take out. There we go. The snails. I've just got to be careful of mercenaries because they're quite... They do quite a lot of damage. Uh, formidable orc. Wouldn't be too powerful, I think. Pretty good at dodging these orcs to be fair they don't do that much damage uh, the other one i got to look out for as well is the is it the cobble okay right i've gained 11 fame using that nice because completed the uh quest so let's go pick this up uh, don't forget my money and my platinum coin let's definitely pick that up so how much did i get there so I've got 1989 now and i got a strange gold coin um, yeah, the, like I was saying, the other one I've got to be careful of is the kobolds as well, because they're, they're pretty beefy when they hit you. I've, uh, I've died many a times to a kobold, kobold, however you say it. So let's go for formidable floating ice. should be no problem for my boomerang. Get rid of this little bastard. And what have we got here? We've got a doomed cotton cloak, which gives me DV plus three, so I ain't going to put that on. Um, just for the fact that it's doomed and I won't be able to take it off. We've got here, yeah, Altar of Luck. Let's have a quick look at my character. So, what I do need is something that's boost my, that boosts my strength and endurance. That's the sort of build I'm going for at the minute. And Will, maybe. We've got a sp formidable spider over there. That's the only fair with him. Two damage. Okay, seven damage on him. Okay, so he's only got about 14 health, so it's fine. Did a bit of damage on me, but they're not very, uh, haven't got much HP. Let's quickly meditate, get my health back. And my skill in meditation has just gone up, nice. Okay, we've got a sleeping mercenary here. Uh, do I hit him? 
He is asleep, so I probably will do some damage. I just don't want to die with him. Let's go for it. Right. Nice. 19 damage. Okay, so that's just over half. So he's probably looking at, what, about 40, 45 HP on him. Um, I will use a bandage. Let's move back so I can heal up from my bandage. That's fine. Hopefully he doesn't hit me. That's fine. Okay. Oh, 18 damage. Okay, right. Let's move. No. ASAP. Right, okay. We just about made it. That's fine. 10 damage. He's missed me. Hit him with another... Oh, 23 damage. Okay. Let's wait. Let's heal up. Let's quickly use another bandage. I probably should have meditated instead of wasting a bandage, to be fair. Let's quickly heal up. Oh, 15 damage. Oh, I can't afford to miss him and then he hit me again for that 28 or something. Stupid, because that will kill me. Why do I keep missing him? Right, 11 damage. Literally do not want to take that risk. All it takes is one critical hit from him and that's me dead. Nice. So I took care of him. Uh, I've hit him with a... I didn't want to do that. I wanted to throw my boomerang. Fair goblin. Right, that's him taken care of. Let's just be careful around here now just in case there is any other mercenaries. Oh, we've got a battle there. That'll pick up at the minute. So I'm going to have to get rid of something. I am hungry, so let's see what we can eat. Um... Kind of protein, because that will give me a buff to my strength as well. So let's do that. Let's pick up the boom, uh, the girdle. Plastic girdle gives me a dodge three and protection plus one. So we'll put that on because I haven't got any belt on there. So that's going to help. Uh, that's the only thing at the minute with this build that I'm going for. This my dodge value is not very high, so they're more likely to hit me in every hit. But should be able to take a lot more damage. What we got? Gank, formidable Ganks, that's hit him. 18 damage, yeah, he hasn't got too much health. Should be able to keep him at bay. Yeah, there we go. Nice, no, some tactics just gone up to level five. Uh, what we got there? Another boomerang. A pair of bone boots as well. And we've also got a wooden light cloak, which could come in handy. So let's, I need to figure out what I want to get rid of. Stone rubble, let's chuck that over there, I don't need that. Pile of books, get rid of that. What we got here, yeah, wooden light cloak gives me protection of plus one. Right, we'll quit that, definitely put that one on. The bone boots gives me, grants me nether resistance and gives me dodge two and protection plus one. So are they any good compared to that? Um. Yeah, they are, because they don't give me any protection at all. So we'll put the bone boots on. We've got a boomerang, which is made out of granite. So it's the same one that I've got. Okay. There's a lot of blood going on down here. Something's happened down here. I've missed him. Let's go. Let's hit him. And we have got a figurine of a goblin there. Probably so. Uh, we've got a gene of a goblin there. Nice. We'll take that. Definitely. Let's get rid of these goblins. Right, he's running in fear. He can't run from me. I don't want to pick that up, so I need to get rid of something. Get rid of them shoes, because they're not going to be worth anything. Uh, we've got Gene of Goblin, which gives us memory of endurance. Nice. Take this yeek out. Uh, public format, yeah, let's take him out. Nice. Him with a critical hit on that last one. Uh, and these are fighting over here. What are these fighting? Oh, the puppy! They're killing the puppy! Oh, I'm going to have to take these out. Let's hit them with a ice arrow. No, I don't want to do that. Right, I need to go save this puppy. Come on, puppy. Stay in there, fella. 
Oh, I'll keep missing him, come on. I'm taking a lot of damage from us. Bandy, I see if we can do a bit more. Doesn't matter. I think it's because I'm only hitting him with a spear from this direction, from this distance. Okay, nice. Talk to the puppy, I'll take you. Follow me, puppy. So the quest has been updated. You search for the rescued puppy. Uh, you need to safely deliver the puppy to her and report. So I think there's no point carrying on at the minute. Because, ooh, look how much health he's got. Let's quickly meditate so he gets some health back. And there's no point carrying on because I'm fully stacked anyway. So what I'll probably do is head back home, report the puppy back, get rid of all this stuff, identify it, and then I'll probably come back just to see what else is lying around. So what I will do is use a scroll of return. Let's use this. Let's sit here and wait while the scroll is red. There we go. Nice. And I've received my tax bill of 500 already straight off the bat. It's not usually that high. It might be just because of the fact that I've actually got built in my, uh, my little base at the minute. Oh, unburnable garbage. Let's get rid of that. We'll chuck that over there for now. Grab my tax bill. Put that away. I will need to head down to pay that at some point. That's what we dumped some of this. There we go. Uh, we'll put these, get rid of that soil in there. Lapis lazuli gems, get rid of that piece of hemp. And I will need to identify some of these. Gene of a goblin. Right, let's bring back my... Oh, we've got a cooler box now, nice. Let's grab that, we'll put that away, let's put that into the hot bar there. Um, so we can start putting our food that goes mouldy, we'll put it in there for it to last longer. So that one was complete now. Uh, hunt hostile creatures, so yeah, I just need to complete this quest as well. Okay, talking about tax bill. You see tax bill, you pay tax bill at the town hall in Massilia. Yep, we'll do that. And there we go. Complete that quest now. Nice. Time has gone up. Plus one for Ashland now. And oh, we've got a formidable dog over here. Ten platinum coins. I'll definitely pick that up. Right, let's hit him and hopefully they join in and kill it because they're going to kill my puppy or else. Yeah, Ashland's going to. Take her out, there we go, nice. We've got some meat out of that as well. Quickly cut this meat off. No, I don't want to eat it, I'm not hungry yet. We'll put it in the cooler box to keep it fresh. Let's dump this over there. And let's have a quick look at the quest board. So, what are Shim Fianna talking about? What's with a serious face, both of you? It's not good. Oh, loyal's in debt. Oh, 20 million Aurans. Jeez, what has he been up to? Crazy. And he's gone to sleep now. Stress must have got to, got to him. Let's sort all these out. Let's have a quick look at my purse. Let's copy these over. I'll probably sell that, to be fair. Let's get rid of that. And the book, I do need to identify that book as well. Get that trash can up as well. Put that away. Uh, the arrows, I'll probably get rid of the arrows as well, to be fair. Let's put these in. So let's sell that. We'll sell the boomerang. I uh, could give the boomerang to my bear cub, to be fair. I would if he was asleep. I've got this puppy following me around at the minute. Alright, you wait here. I don't want you anymore. Uh, I'm going to have to wait till the bear cub wakes up. So let's put that gold coin in here for now as well. Small medal, we've got a strange coin. Let's put that one in there. Let's sell these arrows. Uh, what else can I sell? Let's put this goblin bean away as well. Let's put that in away. There. Boomerang, I'll give that to him. Um, bottle of coconut juice, let's put that away as well. I will need to sort these out at some point, all my inventory, because it's just a mess. It really bugs me when it's a mess. What 
more to do actually. Let's quickly make some a couple more boxes. Where is it? Let's go after the table. There we go. And I do need a have we got a trash bin? We've got a journal there which I didn't even read. Let's pick that up, let's read this quickly. A uh, pickaxe made of top of the oak and crush or yes, I already know that. So let's put this in there, we'll sell that. Let's craft a couple of wooden boxes. That one is four on that, so that's going to be okay. Let's place that there. There we go. So we've got a bit more storage space now. I think now let's head back down to the Tinkers so we can identify some of these. I've got enough money for that and to pay my tax bill as well. So I've got nearly 2,000, I don't know. Uh, I do want him to wake up, though. No. I'm not tired or anything. Let's just head out. Let's go. Yeah, we've got six gold for that. Not great. We've got here then. Fair, easy, easy, uh, fair and easy. So this and formidable Beth boot it there. So let's hit him. Let's start with him. Yeah, a lot of damage on. Him. Let's take him out first. Take him out as well. Right, okay, I can't be having him, so hit me in the back. So let's pop a bandage. Take this fella out. There we go. Then we'll take the hermit crab out. Hey, okay, nice. Look around the tile, see what we can get. I might as well grab these berries while I'm here. Get some cream. Uh, we'll get some blueberries. Keep the hunger at bay. We've got yeah, fair goblin. Grab these berries. He's gonna follow me. Oh, we've got a chest there, nice. Hopefully it's not locked. I mean, I could pickpocket it as well. Yeah, we've got some light stone, don't need that. Let's have a look at this chest then. Yeah, so let's pick the lock of the chest. Lock is too difficult, you give up opening the chest. Okay, so my lock picking skills are not high enough yet, so I can't open that chest, so that was a waste of my time. Down to the tinkers, what we got. Stay on the road, formidable bear cub there. Okay, so let's, all right, okay. Formidable kobold there. See, they're the ones that do pretty high damage. So I'm gonna hit him. Hopefully he joins in. Oh, under arrest, right, take him out for me. Yes, there we go, nice. Used him to my advantage and same as bear cub as well. Okay, we've got another formidable one here. Right, let's head back. There we go, pay for your crimes. Oh, he's got a wooden breastplate as well. Which is gonna be better, is it? DV uh, one, PV plus five, yeah, nice. That's gonna definitely gonna be better than the jelly shirt. It does drop my fire resistance though as well. Now let's equip that. And we've got a chest here, let's see what's going on there. We've got a puppy, let's kill that innocent little puppy. What we got? We've got a cup, we've got a platinum coin, we've got a thick tome, and we've got a wooden long spear. We'll take it. Not going to be great. We might be able to get some gold from it. Blow it in iron, let's get rid of this one. Pretty cool hit then with 19 damage, nice. Let's carry on, let's head to the Tinkers. And he's going to be asleep. Oh no, he's not. That's fine. Right, you there, identify my items. Looks like these were rusted as well. So, what should we identify? We shall, potions. I'm not really fussed about the potions at the minute. More of these uh, tomes. So, so, identify that one. Uh, Spellbook of Blood Touch, nice. Ice Arrow, yeah, we'll take them. What's the Ice Arrow damage? 1d12 plus 2. Odd Rod, 10 charges of Shadow Bolt, nice. This one is going to be Ice Arrows again, Strange Tome, Short Teleport. Um, 
could probably do all of these to be fair. Thick tome there, we've got uh, the Voynich Manuscript. Wooden Long Spear, which is going to be uh, Negates Effect of Paralysis, that's 3d4 as well. So I could actually change that. A lot like dual wield long spears. Because that's going to be better than my grass sword as well. And it will negate the effect of paralysis. Well, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's pop that in there. Let's place this in there. I can always sell that. And let's see what else we can identify. That was Scroll of Evac, nice. We've got a Rip Scroll there, which is a Scroll of Teleport. We've got a Scroll of Hero, that'll come in handy. And a Scroll of Holy Veil. A Scroll of Curse. We've got two Silence Potions. Weaker Resistance. A Potion of Paralysis, which is a blessed one. And a Poison. Okay, I've just spent an absolute fortune on him. Have a look at the quick... Uh, the quest board. So, Disgusted Race of Skeletons, made to kill nine of them. I won't go for that one. He wants a cookie. Stone Race is Sweet Emo. We've got a moose and a. He wants a Spellbook of Magic. Uh, I have an ambition to eventually get a Spellbook of Magic from all over the world. Start, I was bringing one. He's going to give me 65 Aurans for that, and I am in possession of that. So, let's go. Who is it? It's uh, the Mage. Norline the Mage. There we go. So, let's complete this. Quest. I have the requested stuff. Which one shall I give him? Probably going to give him the short teleport. Nice. So I gained one karma and three fame for that. Uh, oh, I've got 14 platinum coins now as well. So let's have a quick look, see what skills we can actually go for. We've got anatomy, a uh, better chance of finding dead bodies. We've got literacy, which allows me to read books. Um, swimming, we've got stealth, allows you to move quietly. Riding allows you to ride creatures. Yeah, I could use that one, that'll come in handy. Uh, let's go for the riding for now. And probably go for appraising as well, that leaves me with four. Okay, we'll go with that for now. Have a quick look at the blacksmith. Uh, show me your wares, what have you got for me? Uh, we've got a stone breastplate there, but I feel like if I make one myself, it's going to be better. Uh, we've got a neck guard, which increases my look. We've got a woolen cloak. Um, not great, not great stuff. So let's sell, what can I sell? Let's sell the, the boomerang I was going to give to one of my, uh, I was going to give it to my better. Let's sell all the teleport. Uh, that could come in handy when I want to get out of a tricky situation. So I'll hero, I'll keep them. Roll the curse, let's get rid of that. Uh, two potions of silence, give me 42 for that. Let's get rid of them. Weak resistance. Paralysis, and let's get rid of that poison as well. Well, I might as well sell them. Get rid of that shirt as well. Pop 11, we'll get rid of that. Um, what was on there? The grass longsword. Yeah, it's not going to be great. Let's sell this. It only sells for two gold anyway, so let's get rid of that. Let's be back up to 1400. Uh, let's speak to the caravan guy. Show me your wares. What can we do? We've got three gold bars at the minute. What can I buy with three gold bars? We've got a loom, we've got a cauldron. Can't buy any of these. I uh, could buy the Sombre Workshop. That'll come handy when I want to start producing in my settlement. Right, let's go for that. And then we'll go for a. Um, Got a map board, so I could change the terrain on that. We've got a home board, we've got a resident board. Uh, let's just go for the wall torch. Let's quickly read them. 
Okay, nice. I've learned how to make a wall torch and a signboard workshop. I wonder how much I could sell this book for. You won't buy it. Right, let's quickly read this Voyage Manuscript. Okay, several creatures have been summoned. What have we got? Okay, we've got a formidable mercenary. Okay, it's not good. Formidable orc and a duck. So I need to get over here because I want these to fight for me. Has he took them out already? No, he's not even doing anything. Let's try and read that again. I took the orc out anyway, they've killed the orc. And I've managed to decipher it, nice. Let's get rid of this quickly. Let's sell to craft it an anvil. No, I don't want to do that. Let's speak to the blacksmith. Oh, he's gone to sleep. So he's got holy lights and holy shields. Holy veils. Per four potions to cure major wound. Probably could come in handy. Your critical wound. I'll sell that for 19 ones. There we go. Oh, I need to pick them up. I forgot about them. We've got a strange gold coin there, and I did pick up some more platinum coins. I might keep these just for the fact that I can get into another. Get into another room. Get into another city and find different trainers for different things. So, could use learn stealth. All right, let's just go for it. Let's buy stealth. There we go. I've learned how to make stealth. Well, right, I think we're looking good. Have I got my? Yeah, I've got my tax bill on me, so I'm thinking I might head down to Massillian now. Just to pay my tax bill, just to get it out of the way. And then on the way back up, I think the plan is we'll head back into the puppy's cave and grab everything that I missed. And hopefully, I do need to start building the level up so I can get into normal as well. Complete that quest. Let's get to the tax office and let's use the tax box. Deliver that, that's 500. There we go, so my tax bill has been paid. Nice. We're all up to date with our taxes, which is good. Let's have a quick look at the quest board. So what we've got, they want me to harvest some crops for them. He wants assorted fruit. He wants an empty bottle. Yeah, he's having trouble with monsters. And he wants me to dig for some crops. I think what I'll do, let's have a talk to the blacksmith, see if he's got anything for me at the minute. I do need to cut this meat off as well. Where's it gone? I don't know, I must have ate it. Ate the raw meat. I'm going to get very sleepy though as well. Could do with um, getting my head down. So we've got an anvil there. If we should be able to learn, no, smelt us. Let's head in here and let's speak to the blacksmith. What you got for me? What we got then? Raw food composite girdle. Uh, that's no good. Creature's just gonna bow. Oh, we've got some decent gear here. A pair of silly light gloves, which are called the Gambler. So that puts our hit up five and our dodge three. Creature's strength by one makes it easy to evade it and it makes you float. Okay, so they could be pretty, pretty beefy to be fair. What else? We've got a pair of blessed iron light gloves. Uh, grass trident. Uh, 4d3 on that. Uh, it's not really, really that good. We've got a necklace which increases my luck and a necklace which makes it easier to evade. Oh, we have got a steel scythe there, 420. Damage plus 2. Triggers neck hunt. And it's made of steel, so 1d... What's that? 20, 20 damage on that. Ish. That could... Yeah, it's going to be a lot better than that. Well, I'm going to buy that steel side, 420. There we go, a bit of a rip off, 420 for that, but we'll take it. And let's 
We'll equip that. We'll equip the Steel Scythe. Let's have a quick look at my character, see if I did level up any of them. Have I got any traits available? No. So, what are we looking for? So, long sword. So, I'm decent with a scythe. I've got six, and he is pretty at the top of a scythe as well. Axe, long sword as well, mace as well, and a short sword. So, pretty much everything, really. Um. Whole arms are not great, so I'll probably need to get rid of them at some point, but the scythe's not too bad. Well, show me your wares that sell you that, how much you give me that? 26 orins for that, that's fine, we'll take that. And I probably will need to grab some food. The journey back, let's speak to this guy here, the shopkeeper. Show me your wares, what have you got for me? You got some ketchup, bottle of creme ale. It makes roast, roasted fruit, it's going to be uh, mouldy, but it's going to cost 12 stamina. Uh, we've got no fuel. Great, that's fine. Oh, so we've got their furniture there, we've got the bookshop there. Uh, we've got the fishmonger there, might be able to buy some fish. Show me your wares, what you got for me? We've got a mackerel. Or oh, we've got nine scad sashimas. Uh, that's discounted at 70% actually. Oh yeah, and we've got nine. Yeah, that's quite high as well, it gives me, uh, it's rich, so it gives me uh, potent level five strength, dexterity goes up as well. All right, let's buy, let's buy two of them be enough to get me back to that dungeon. Have a quick look in here as well. What have you got for me? We've got some bread. Uh, we've got some happy nut bread sticks and six loaves of egg bread. That's discounted as well. Cheese bread, we've got two of them. First and reduce that is, that, is, that gives me that boost my strength, level seven strength. Yeah, right, we'll buy a couple of them. We'll buy them two cheese breads as well think and I am sleepy and hungry so let's meditate quickly let's go to sleep when we wake up we'll have some food and we'll head back to the dungeon and grab everything that I missed we're at boomerang level two nice so I am very hungry at the minute so let's try one of these scad shashimis And let's eat, uh, let's just eat another one of them. Uh, what I might do actually, let's quickly read these spell book charges as well. As I'm going back into that dungeon. Okay, Goblin has arrived, it's very fair. Let's try out this weapon then. Uh, can I hit them from a distance with that scythe? No. Only with the uh, spear, so let's hit him with that. Three damage, um, 26, 17. Was that me that did that or was that him? I'm guessing it was him because he's formidable. Let's read the ice arrows. Let's get these books out of the way. Okay, nice. So I've got four charges of ice arrows. Uh, that's just absorbed my mana. And this one is, yeah, nice. So I've got uh, quite a few charges. I've got 30 charges all together now. So ice arrow, let's read that one again. 39 charges, uh, some more ice arrows, let's read them. This will put my literacy skill up as well. And uh, what we got, a public performer, let's take him out. 15 damage, and we'll take that as well. Don't want to dig. Better get that dog, I'll just pick that up. So just drop that. Nice, hardness 46 as well. Put that in the backpack. Uh, last book, read this one of the arrow charge. And oh no, I've got blood touch as well, let's read that. Yeah, that's teleported me. Let's quickly read another one, that's teleported me as well, because it's too difficult, is it? So I have to read the spell book. I mentioned door opens, it doesn't say it's too difficult. Okay, nice. So I did gain some charges of blood touch there, that's 3d4 three, three damage, nice. Quickly read that last one. 
Oh, there is a tape there as well. I can grab that. Use that cassette. That's good. And I think we're ready to go. We've slept, we've eaten, we've read the books. Let's head back. Okay, formidable there. We've got a fair, okay, that fair is overmatched, so I need to get the hell out of here. I don't even know what level this toil is. Let's go out of here, what is it? Okay, level 10, that's way too powerful for me at the minute. Let's stick to the road, just for the fact there is guards on the road. What we got? Formidable spider, formidable imp, and a yeek. Where's the guard? Is there a guard on this one? No, I'm gonna run anyway. Can't be taking the risk. Okay, so I'm hungry. What can I eat? Let's eat a breadstick. Let's jump in this dungeon and grab everything that I missed. It's not the dungeon, that's the meadow. Is the dungeon. Okay. Five, four damage. Seven damage. Okay, it's not really actually that powerful, is it? It's still solid. I thought it'd do a lot more damage than that. Um, but obviously it depends on what the roll is. Digging this remains, let's see what we've got. Okay, I do not want to be going near there. We've got an evolved gnome there. Let's stay away from him. Hopefully he doesn't follow me. Because he's going to be hitting me with some decent damage. Get this snail out. I'll eat my boomerang. Well, wreck there, I'm not interested in this. I probably will mine this though. Gonna give me what a lapis lazuli a gem onyx gems nice hardness of 50. Okay, we've got a spell book of acid arrows there as well that's good so i've got the appraising so all these i won't have to go to the tinkers for these books anyway so i will actually learn these myself which is good A long spear there, sunlight cloak, and a bin of chili. All right, you get out of it. I'm getting sleepy as well. So, what we got here? I've got a Mika long spear, it's 3d3. Um, increases your look by three as well. What is my look on actually? Let's have a quick look. one that's fine okay all right grab this what we got here we've got a sunlight cloak which is no good that's useless to me okay, there's quite a few in here we've got they're all quite fair actually fair and easy To that evolved gnome. Hopefully he stays where he is. Damage, damage, three damage on that crab. Okay, he's doing quite a bit of damage on me actually. Yeah, the soft's not great to be fair. And the roll on it's very good. I want to get rid of this at some point. What we've got here, yeah, Earth of Altar. Let's have a quick look at that. What does that do? That deepens your faith to so that increases my strength, endurance, shield, weightlifting, mining, and blacksmith. So that is what I want. I want to worship a pathos of Earth. So let's worship a pathos. There we go. Nice. So that should give me a buff. If I have a look in the character screen, let's have a look at the traits. Yeah, there we go. Plus two on my strength, plus three endurance, plus three shield, weightlifting's gone up as well. Mining blacksmith and reduces all damage. There we go, we're looking tanky, let's go. 
Yes, oh, I did worship a god now. Get out of my face. Let's go up this way. Let's just be careful I don't run into that gnome. We'll need to heal as well. Let's quickly meditate. Oh, we've gone to sleep. Scroll, but we've got purple herb, nice. And okay, that's just a normal no. Come on, don't rob me. Nine damage on him. He's gonna steal something from me. No, he's not. He's running away. Come on, come back here, little bastard. What we got here? Altar of Harvest. No, I'm not interested in that. So I just need to be wary of that over there, unless they've moved. Okay, let's kill this yeek. Get out of it. Public performer. Floating eye, they're no match for the boomerang. Bottle of beer, nice. Quickly harvest this. What we've got paper and scrap. Should get some scrap from this. Yeah, there we go. So we've got three scrap from that. What is this where this gnome's gonna be? Yeah, let's get out of here. Do not want to be tackling that gnome at the minute. I don't want to risk it. Ooh, what we got there? Scale light cloak, DV plus two, PV one. It gives me fire resistance as well. DV plus one. Yes, that's going to be better because it's going to up my dodge as well. And it grants me fire resistance. So let's put that on. Uh, what was this scroll we got? Scroll of incognito. Well, I think we're good to go. Let's head downstairs and see if we can grab a bit more. What have we got? Formidable floating eye, hermit crab, let's take here. There is a sand war sickle there, and we've got a chest, nice. Okay, nice, so we just gained a feet point, because my level in throwing has just gone up. Oh, he's no match for me, let's grab that strange scroll, we'll grab some meat as well, because I'm getting hungry. Uh, what can we eat? Let's eat some cheese bread. Let's have a quick look at my feet as well. So traits, quite a feat, what should we go for? Thinking just carry on boosting my defense up because that will give me the next level on that will give me plus five on my PV. So let's coil that for now, there we go. So let's quick look at my character profile. Yeah, protections are 29 now, so that's quite high actually. We've got a sand war sickle, 2d2 minus two. So, okay, that's not gonna be minus two on the damage as well, so it's not gonna be great. Really mind this. Scrap out of it, fair goblin. Oh, let's take you out, there we go. What we got then? Uh, wooden shirt, it's no good. Pile of books and a gold bar, we'll take it. My skills just gone up to level four. Strategy. We've got another rod there. Oh, I don't want to get that rod because I want to know what it is. Um, I might get rid of sand clay. That's going to be no good. So let's drop that. Let's pick the rod up, and hopefully we can identify that. chest as well. You beauty. Oh, that hasn't even got any charges. Rod of Etherbolt. Oh, let's drop that because it's no good to me. Yeah, what else did we identify? What was it? A potion of resistance. Probably drop them books as well, to be fair. Let's pick that rod up. And we should be able to identify what that is soon. Another bottle of ale. Um, let's pick up, uh, we'll need to get rid of something, what should I get rid of? 
Let's pop my shovel in my hot bar for now. Yeah, what a shadow ball. Let's put that in my hot bar. Just freeze up a bit of inventory. Pick up a strange scroll and what have we got there? A couple of bones, that's fine. Uh, let's pick this chest. Uh, it's too difficult. Ah, uh, so no, yeah, I can't get into it. That's a dead end down there. Let's head down this way, see where this leads. Yeah, another dead end. Okay, let's head out into this direction. Ooh, a remain of Vici there. Go and hit that up. Oh, I'm going to use this. Let's try this on him, see how much damage it actually does. Shadow Bolt, 10 charges. Why didn't that shoot? Blind. Okay, it's blinded him as well. I don't know why I did that. I right clicked and just did the auto click, which is annoying. I didn't want to do that. Take him out anyway. Oh, so we've got some uh, quartz sunglass. Oh, we've got stuff there as well. Paper long stuff. that meat up as well so let's get rid of something else what should I do let's just eat a let's eat some chili for now uh, what we got there doomed torch so I'm not interested in that I should I went off the key for that at the minute okay fair mercenary that's fine so let's head over this way 13 damage on the boomerang missed nine damage and they're doing two to me that's fine Take him out, yeah, forgive me. No, you're dead, you're a goner. What do you get for attacking me? You little bastard. Kill this eye, there we go. There's not much else around here. I think I pretty much picked up everything. Let's go check out this, oh, yeek. And check out this area over here. Right, let's make a little entrance, there we go. I've done that, let's head down here. Oh, the yeek's following me. Get out of it, you bastard. trap what was it a poison trap um yes it's rusted my gear nice no, stats decreased by minus one minus two and so on so that's no good to me which is annoying because yeah uh, that's annoying what did it hit actually plastic girdle dame yeah my pv's dropped down now to minus one yeah, that's annoying. Can I disarm this trap? That is the question. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to heal up first just in case it does a bit of damage to me. Yeah. Well, we did it. That's fine. Oh, get out of my way, you little goblin. Okay, I think that's it for now. I think let's get out of here. And let's head back. Go this way so I don't bump into that known. Actually, it's probably going to be around the corner now. Okay, nice. We've got a couple of ruins around here as well. Level 2, level 2. And there's nothing that I need looking into, so I think it's probably best if we head back now. Come back and it's like an absolute dumping ground in here. Look at all this, uh, this rubbish lying around. 
I think I need to make myself a little recycle bin. And we have got a letter though. Let's quickly auto dump all of this. We go, let's craft a rubbish bin. Trash bin. Yeah, let's quickly craft one of them. Place it down here somewhere. Let's place it in the corner here, that'll do for now. I've already got a trash bin, what am I doing? We got. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we've got two now. We'll have to do. There we go. We've got two trash bins. So let's quickly collect all this. Get rid of all this trash because this will give me some coupons as well. And then eventually, when I do get, I will be able to make all like, the combustible bins non combustible. And then it should be able to auto dump it. Oh, we've got a gnome in here. There you go. Okay, I have got weaker. Get out of it, you rat. There's so much rubbish. Would have thought they'd clean up after themselves, wouldn't you? Ooh, we could take that can though. Okay, let's go and dump all this. There we go, so we've got 40 copos for that. That's fine. And let's have a look, what shall we sell? Let's get rid of the um so a quick look at my character. So what am I actually down on? I'm down by, on my wheel minus one. Which is annoying, but we can live with it. The sun war sickle, let's get rid of that. The long spear will sell that as well. Get rid of the light coat cloak. We've got a wooden shirt there, let's get rid of that. We don't need that. But to be fair, I probably could put these wooden cloak, PB, I could put them on my uh, character. I might keep them. We've got a scroll of teleport, we've got a wooden cloak, I'll keep that. Uh, paper long staff, let's get rid of that one. What's the damage value on that? 2d4 minus 1, okay. Potion of resistance, let's get rid of that one. Acid um, arrow, we'll keep that. Uh, bottle of ale, scraps, paper, okay. Potion of cure mutation. Uh, will that heal my will? I'm not actually sure because I don't think it's classed as a mutation, is it? All the magic map, nice, that'll come in handy as well. Maybe. Let's drink that. No, it doesn't. I didn't think it would. Right, I'm getting quite sleepy now. Let's quickly grab this letter. Read this. Uh, tells me all about cassettes, that's fine. Let's put that away, we'll sell it. And where's my dog? Or oh, my bear, even. It's not my dog, is he? No, let's trade that and let's give him a one of them. Will he equip that? I'm not sure if he will equip it. Given that anyway. Not sure he can equip it. Hmm. We'll let him keep it anyway. He can carry it for me. Uh, let's ask him to join me. They might do as after he's joined me actually, so let's quickly put them on. Put them in there. No, it's not gonna work. Okay. Uh, how are we looking? Stamina 34, but I'm getting really tired now. So let's go to sleep and we'll wake up. We'll have some, we'll cook some meat and we'll have some food. me hallucinating. I thought I didn't realise what happened there, but there's definitely a boar that they've attacked. Um, well, I'll grab some meat. That's because it was rotten. Oh, uh, which is annoying. So let's quickly get this meat. Roasted fruit as well. 
Wrath that roasted fruit. That's not going to be no good because that's rotten as well. I am hallucinating at the minute. Let's put the roasted meat into there. There's no point putting them in because they're rotten anyway. And let's get rid of some of this junk. Let's put them. I could disassemble them for scrap actually. We'll keep them. We'll disassemble them. Put the glass in there. Empty bottle. We'll disassemble that as well. Get rid of the skin. We'll get rid of the. We'll put them in the other chest. Bottles of ale. Get rid of them. Can of spice. A piece of paper. We'll get rid of the scrap as well. The bone. A bottle of beer. We'll get rid of that. Uh, the onyx gems as well. Bottle of ale. I think if I drink the ale, I do actually get a buff as well. And that's from the, because I'm the hill folk. So does it actually say on here? Yeah, me runs in the blood. You see various bonuses when drunk. Walk straight when drunk. I might keep the bottles of ale on me. Hmm. Well, let's keep one bottle. At least one bottle of ale on me. I need to get rid of this hallucination. Well, let's quickly meditate. Get my bear cubs HP back up. Hopefully I'll stop hallucinating. I'm hallucinating. The stone rubble's an actual mine at the minute. Just run around for a minute. Just get rid of it. See what else we can craft then. So what we've got, stone cutter, which we've already got. Drafting table, I've already got one of them as well. Uh, what about the tinker's table? Uh, the kiln, I do need chunks of soil for a kiln. I might as well make one of them because I can start making some clay blocks then. Or oh, a chunk of soil, let's just dig all this out. Okay, I've stopped elucidating now as well. Okay, nice. So I've learned how to make a soil block. We've got 19, so I need one more chunk of soil. Let's get rid of this block here. There we go. So I should have enough to craft the kill one now. Drop into there. Yeah, there we go. Stamina cost of that is seven. That's fine. And let's place our kill one. Where should we place the kill one? Well, let's just put the kill one there for now. And we'll need to make some clay at some point. I haven't got the recipe yet for the, I can't remember what it's called, but I will know I haven't got the recipe for it. Okay, let's quickly auto dump some of them. Get rid of that, we'll keep all of this. Let's sort that out, that's fine. 496, I've got a bit of meat. Okay, so let's head out. We've got our bear and I wonder if it's, yeah, where's that gone? He must have put that away. So if he keeps that, does he use it or have I got to gift it to him? Let's try that, let's try gifting it to him. If I go to that, if I gift, I want to gift. I don't want to throw a boomerang at him, I want to gift it to him. Let's just put it in there. We'll see if he uses it. Okay, no, so we completed that quest. We paid our taxes for the first time. Was he nervous about it? No, I wasn't. I was more nervous about dying on the road. But now we have got a mailbox. Grab that, let's place our mailbox, let's put it there. That chicken needs to get out of the way. 
Okay, we're good to go. Let's quickly read these as um, spell books for acid arrows as well. Okay, it's fell apart. So I managed to get 12 um, charges for that. That'll do. I don't want to do that. I want to kill him. I want to kill the chicken. Give me some meat. I want to do some meat before I head off. Something else around here. Okay, right. Let's head back out. See what we could find. Um, I'm thinking about going west now to the um, the port over there. Because there is a lot of resources that I do need over there. Where you get a lot of the cactus trees and the uh, balulu trees. We'll need to get some of them resources. I think let's head out into that direction. And I don't think the monsters over this side will be too difficult for me. We'll stay on the road just in case. Yeah, we have got a boring ruin there as well, which I could always raid. Yeah, what we got here? Yeah, puppy, easy puppies. Uh, just puppies galore. Puppies and chickens. Yeah, he is using the uh, boomerang. That's good. Missed him. What am I doing? Very nice. We've got some meat. Let's really meditate and get our stuff back, uh, HP back up. Some basalt there, I definitely want some of that. Let's grab that while we're here. Oh, we've got an overmatched evolved duck there. Should we take him on? Let's go to the edge just in case he does hit me. And I could always run out. Let's try and take him on. Dump damage. Okay, he's used divine wisdom as well. Right, do not one shot me. Please do not one shot me. Then 8 damage on him, 5 damage on them. And taking care of my bear, isn't he? Oh, I might have to leave this. Go. Alright, oh, let's heal up. I'm going to jump back in because I do want to kill him. He's not doing too much damage. He's doing like 8 damage, but I don't think he'd do that much damage on me. So let's try and take him out. What we'll do, let's just pop a bandage for now. I'm not even touching him. No, oh, okay, forget that. Let's meditate, I'm not even touching him. Literally doing zero damage to him. Oh, that ruins has disappeared now. All right, let's head over here, we've got a quiet beach over. Yeah, let's enter this. Uh, what we've got? We've got a couple of pewtits, we've got a leaf dish there. Nice, so we've got the palooly trees there, which is going to be decent. I should be able to make some decent stuff out of that. Um, kill him. Grab some resources. Nice, so we've got some palooly logs for that. I'm grabbing some resin as well, which can make some more bandages. Got, yeah, we've got a cassette, let's pick that up, nice. Uh, there is a cassette over there as well, I don't really want to drown either. Let's quickly grab that, that's fine. there as well. Uh, we have got a chopping board or cutting board. Use that, nice. So we've learned how to make a mini salad now. So if I jump on that barbecue, is that going to teach me anything? No. But I can craft some meat on the bone. 
Uh, what's my stamina? I'm gnawing at the minute. Pop that away. Let's put this in the cooler box. And looks like there's another tape there as well. Kitten. Ooh. Kill this kitten. We go, that counts towards my hunt for any cats. That's the only cat I've seen so far. Right, let's get out of here. I don't want to drown. There is nothing up here. I wonder if I can mine this, can I? Yeah, sand block, white sand. Uh, it's easy at the minute. No, I don't want to commit crime. Uh, oh, another kitten. I'll oh, take care of you. Nice, two out of nine now. So there's nothing really in here, but I did get some decent stuff from there. So I've got some big leaves, which is good. I can make some of the thick rope with that. And the Palulu logs, which are decent. Um, I do get some resin as well. Let's head into here, because it looks like there's some kind of mines here as well. Let's see how many bandages I can craft. I haven't got enough at the minute because I do need some bark. Yes, nice. So get some cactus. We'll get the um, thorns from these as well. I'm not using a bone needle. But it's cool. Don't get the bone needle. Nice. Going to be loads of salt rocks around here as well. Lulu tree. We'll take that. Coral, get out of that water or drown. Got a salt rock here, yeah, I can't take that at the minute. straight away but I just don't want to risk it. Yeah, assault rock, that's fine, I can't. Oh god, it's taking a bit of damage, my bear. Let's quickly meditate for you. Giant scroll. Yeah, it's popping out bandage. Okay, 12 damage is just done on the boomerang anyway, so we don't even need it. Yeah, there we go. Nice, got some nice meat from him as well. Got some more big leaves. Uh, we've got some shells there. So give you some bone fragments, will it? Yeah, bone fragments. Grab some more cactuses and bone needles. exhausted so I probably do need to sleep so let's quickly head up to oh shit okay all right it's pretty easy to be fair around here so, but I am exhausted so I'm not even gonna bother I'm just gonna get out of here okay nice we made it to Port Cupboard and we will we're actually eat absolutely knackered so and oh they got all the Halloween stuff up in there this uh this town let's meditate we'll go to sleep Guild. I do want to join the Fighters Guild and find the Fighters Guild. I'm very hungry, so let's quickly eat something. I do need to cook something as well. There should be a barbecue over here. Yes, there is. Right, meat on the bone. Yep, we'll take some of that. Thank you very much. Let's eat that. And I'm still going to be a little bit hungry, so what have we got? We've got some cacti I can eat. Okay, 
nice. Right, so let's head in here. Let's should have the Fighters Guild. Speak to this dude here. Tell me about the Fighters Guild. Now I want to join the Fighters Guild. Go. I need to kill 20 monsters. That's fine. So, I need, uh, 20 Yeek I need to kill. Check the quest board. Uh, they want to kill me. Medusa, seven Medusas. You want some noodles, breadsticks, a potion of blindness. A loaf of bread. They want to kill 12 machines. Uh, they want me to give a, put in a performance. And he wants cake. Oh, you'll have to wait. Head up here. Um... Have a look what we've got. Okay, we've got a cassette tape there. Nice, we'll pick that up. And there is a chest down there as well. We're going to have to swim to get. Oh, the boat's gone. No boats. Well, festival merchants. Nice. So let's show me your wares. What have you got for me? A suspicious book. Uh, flashy book and some other bits and pieces. Got some takiyaki. Oh, where's the black market merchant? Should be down here. Is that a yeah? D on the black market shopkeeper. So speak to you. See what you've got for me. Probably ain't got enough for any of these anyway. Silver ring mail. Nice PV plus fifteen. See that's going to be decent. I just need to get some more gold for that. Glass composite boots. Uh, plastic scimitar, that's no good to me. Silver light cloak, gives me darkness resistance. Plastic pair of gauntlets. Obsidian short sword. That's not going to be any good either. I can't. All of the rest. I need to get some more gold together. Okay, right, that was a good little wander around the town. We didn't really do much in it. Um, we're getting any quests for it. Is there any crafting stations that I can get any recipes from? Uh, not the minute. Well, there's some on there, but I've already got them. Well, let's go. Let's head back. And what we got here? I've got a historic cave there, but I don't think we can... We could go in that cave. Right, oh god, I'm confused now. I've ate a bit of a. Uh, gone off meat. I'm hungry, so what can I eat? Cacti, let's eat, eat a bit of cacti. Let's head into the historic cave, let's see what's going on in here. I've still got a little bit of space in my inventory to grab things. Go and have a look what we got then. A uh, goblin, eek, and a boot it. Where's he running off to now? Floating eye. Let's take that one out. Oh, he's paralyzed him. Oh, let's grab all these. Uh, what have we got there? A bottle of beer. Almost oh, critical hit on him because he was asleep. Where's he going? Why is he running off? Oh, he's gone a rampage. He's going around killing everyone. Let's quickly heal up. Still got a bit of inventory space. We'll grab what we can. crystal. Grab some of that. I can always come back and get it. Critical hit on him. That's good. Grab some red leaf. A uh, bottle of olive oil. Okay. 
face. So if we identify some of these, yeah, some of them. Uh, Spellbook could cure minor wounds, that's nice. That will come in handy. Spellbook got nerve arrow, nice. And anything in here, nope. Oh, we've got a pair of stone boots there as well. What's that? Give me a DV plus one, so. A PV plus one, sorry, so that's what I've got some better anyway, so I'm just not going to bother with them. Nice, tactics skills gone up to level six. Well, I can't really do any more anyway, so I think I'm going to... Oh, little bastard, where'd you come from? Yeah, so I can't... Have I identified any of these yet? Yeah, one of them. So I can pick up one more. Let's pick up this scroll. I think we'll head back. Let's go. Let's leave there. We'll head back to base. Dump all this stuff off, then we'll go back into the, uh, the ruin. Um, we have got a tax bill. 529 gold. Um, let's... Quickly dump all of this. We've got room in here, yeah, so pop all these in here. Let's pop the basalt in there. We've got uh, seeds for a palulu tree, some logs. Uh, we've got some rotten palulus, which is not going to be good to eat. Empty bottle, I wanted to dismantle with them. Yeah, we've got red herb there which cures bleeding. We've got a couple of bottles, more bottles of ale, and we've got a parchment soil. Don't read this. But obviously I'm gonna go and read it. I warned you, it's something else it's still gonna pop up now. No, okay. Is that all it said? I was expecting some formidable monsters to turn up. I warned you. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'll put that away. I don't know what that's for. That might come in handy for something. We'll put it in our, to our bookshelf. And we have got a formidable... Oh, is this a formidable lava that they've called on? Yeah, very formidable. trash bags. Uh, we'll drop all of these actually. Disassemble them. We'll get some scrap for them. Nice. Uh, what else was it? Empty bottle. We'll get some glass for them. Bottle of ale. We'll keep that. Ocean of slow as well. Okay, let's quickly dump all of these. Uh, I think I might need to make some more boxes. How many spaces have we got left in here? I've got four spaces. So let's pop the quartz in there. Red herb, we'll put that in there. Uh, purple herb, we'll get rid of that. Fit in that bag. Get rid of that drink as well. Bottle of ale and beer. We'll uh, keep them on us for now. And uh, let's quickly read these. So we've got um, charges of nerve arrow there. We'll take that. Uh, and we've got it, a nerve arrow, nice. 1D12, fully sharp magical arrow. We'll read all of them. I like reading these books in the comfort of my own home, just in case anything shows up. Like that. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Let me read that other one. Okay, nice. So uh, that one didn't work, it fell apart, and now I'm confused. What else we got? Spell will cure minor wounds. So can I read that once? Oh, I'm confused. I don't think I can. Well, let's just wait this out. There we go. Let me read this because this will be a good little spell to, to have. Uh, nope. That's absorbed my mana. So hopefully we'll get this one. No, that fell apart. Ah, that's annoying. This roasted fruit. But that way, it's going to be rotten anyway. It's a stinky and coarse. One or two dexterity potency.
Yeah, let's see what else you can do. Tightrope, I can make some of them now, but I do need to make some more rings before that. So I do need to go grab some vines. We've got some more scrap here as well. Okay, we'll take that scrap, that'll come in handy. Uh, before I make them big vines, I need some ring. Let's make the tightrope anyway, because I can make six of them. That's going to be six stamina. That's going to put me on minus one, so it shouldn't do too much damage. It didn't even damage me, to be fair. Um, pop that string into there. Get dump the scrap. Have a quick look at this board now. So, I've got a blacksmith table. Smell. I can do a smell. I need some stone blocks. Uh, I need bricks. Uh. Okay, so um, I haven't got the recipe to make the play at the minute. Mm, so probably gonna have to go get them. I'll probably need some more gold bars for them. Uh, let's quickly pick up my tax bill as well, which was it four to eight iron. Quest board, potion of magic for me, deliver it to Massilia. So I could do that if it's seven days. I don't know if it's going to take me seven days to get to there. Uh, no deadline for this one. He wants to kill some rabbits. All right, we'll do that for you. you rabbit murderer. Right, okay, I think we'll leave that here for episode two, guys, because I've been playing for quite a while, so we've done all right, we're not doing too bad, so we managed to get a bit more um, equipment, a bit more ammo, we managed to get ourselves a cooler box, we've done a couple of dungeons, we didn't complete them because we couldn't get down to the basement areas, the lower levels, so we didn't get the chest in the end, but we did get some decent gear and we managed to craft a few new items as well. And we did level up a few of our skills. Uh, we managed to grab another feet, um, wide feet for our protection, and we managed to get a blessing of a god. So strength and joints look quick, pretty high at the minute. So we're doing all right. We haven't died yet, and that's the main thing. <laughs>